So we just watched the Math on the Spot video where they made shapes using other shapes. And that's what we're going to be focused on doing today, okay? So the question I have for you right here is, what shapes can I use to cover up this hexagon? Hexagon, do you remember how many sides a hexagon has? Six sides. Remember, hex, six, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. Well, I have some triangles right here. I have some trapezoids. Can you say trapezoid? Trapezoid, good job, right here. And I have what shape? Some squares. I need to make a plan and see what shapes can I use to create a hexagon. So I'm going to start off by using two trapezoids, okay? So I'm going to take this one trapezoid because to me it looks like the top of the hexagon. I'm going to cover it up right there. Well, now I have another trapezoid. Hmm, if I do this, does it completely cover it? No, but remember, we can turn our shapes. And now let me try and see if this fits. And that fits. So I just used two trapezoids to make a hexagon. Let's see if I can make any other shapes cover up my hexagon. Hmm, what shape should I try and use? I'm going to try and use some triangles, okay? So I'm going to take this triangle and move it here. Ooh, I can take another triangle in a different way and put it here. Look, that looks like a rhombus right now. Um, right here. Here. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down. Was I able to use triangles to make a hexagon? Yes, I was. I used one, two, three, four, five, six triangles to make a hexagon. Let me try with my squares now. So I put a square right here. Hmm. Well triangle doesn't seem to really work right there. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? It might be hard. I don't think I'll be able to cover up my hexagon with a square. And that's okay. I was able to use some trapezoids and some triangles. Let's try and make another shape now, okay? What shape is this? A rectangle. If you said rectangle, give yourself a thumbs up. I have a bunch of different shapes right here that I need to use to cover up the rectangle. I have some triangles, some squares, some more triangles, and then do you remember what this shape is called? A rhombus. Good job. Hmm. How about I try and use these triangles to help me? Put one here. I can put one right here. Ooh, and look right here. It looks like a rhombus. My rhombus right there. Did I just make a rectangle using other shapes? Yes, I used two of these triangles and then one rhombus to help me do that. Do you think that's the only way that I can make this shape? No, let's try some other ones out. Hmm, I can use these triangles again. And when I put the triangles together, they make another, they make a rectangle. Well, now maybe I can use some squares. Do my squares and my triangles together make a rectangle? Yes, they do. There are so many different ways that we can make shapes. That's why it's so important to learn about these shapes so that we know and know how they um, have a relationship with one another. Let's do another one. 
All right, with this one, what shapes can I use to cover up this square? So here's my square, my four equal sides. Hmm, what shape should I try to use? Well, I could use some smaller squares to make a bigger square. Let's see if that works. One here, one here. Does this make a square as well? Yes, it does. I can use smaller squares to make a bigger square. Remember, it doesn't matter what size squares are. They are always a square if they have four equal sides and four equal corners. Hmm, another way that I can do this is maybe using some rectangles. Did I cover up the square? Yes, I did. Good job. Okay, so what you're going to be doing now for this next guided practice is I'm going to have a list of shapes that I want you to try to make using other shapes. So go ahead and go on to the next video for some guided practice with me.